Hello and welcome back to the Trinity Challenge Final Fantasy 7. This is episode 11. We finally got through all of the exposition of Cloud and Sephiroth and all that jazz. And now we are headed to the Mithril Mines. We are going to take... No, we are totally not doing that. We are going to go get a Chocobo because we are not... Uh, gluttons for punishment. But I hope you all are doing well today. It's been a while since we played this. I definitely want to keep it up and keep things going. Even though the... We are very close to getting the remake. Which is exciting. But either way, this content is going to be supposedly outside of the part one. Which I believe is only supposed to be consist of Midgar. And of course the million dollar question is... How, just how well are they going to be able to expand on just Midgar? I mean, obviously, it's a massive, they could do a lot with it, but it's a matter of how well they do it. That remains to be seen. Alright, let's see. And as I did mention, this is a... This is a challenge run, um, and part of the challenge run is you can't use summon materia, so we're not even going to do the little doohickey dance. You know what? We'll do it. We're going to do it sped up. Oh, that was the wrong, wrong question. My apologies. There we go. You can experience it in three times speed here. Oh yeah, that's lovely. But if you want to know full details, if you are unfamiliar with the challenge, uh, those can be found linked in the description below. Oh, you know what? <laughs> so, I guess that... Um, yeah, so that didn't make it any faster, because it goes by the music length, not the animation length. So, that was pointless. Alright, Choco Bill. Ch Choco Bill. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yes. Hmm. It'll probably be safer for you to get a Chocobo. The way you can zip through the marshes with a Chocobo, it's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgard Zolom. Midgard Zolom. Serpent-like creature over three, 30 feet tall. Almost said 300. Detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then, BAM! It attacks. Avoid that by a choco chocobo at me and Chocobilly's Choco Farm. Parker's blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we gotta go to the stables. Alright, we got it. Look at those, uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what? Uh... Yes, we can use M's. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. I just wanted to look at his uh, his bed bedspreads. Look at that. That's a nice little arm color, you know. It uh, it has like that like hand woven thing. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on that. All right, let's go get our. Chocobo lure, which I just to make sure, I'm pretty sure is allowed just because it makes this part so much easier. Of course, you can beat the Chocobo. Or, <laughs> you can beat the Midgar Zolom at this point, but uh, I'm not even going to fool with that. 
We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Alright. Just gonna skip through this, because it's... Yeah, we know. Chocobos, you need greens to catch them. Sell you chocobo lure for 2,000 gil. Don't really have much of a choice. Alright, vegetable store. Go ahead and get some of the better ones. Just so, because we are playing on active. So, it actually may take a couple times for us to get this going. Oh, you see that? It still has, there's a glitch where if you, there's a, uh, a menu glitch that I, I can't remember the exact sequence, but see like, like that, it should be on red 13, but it's on cloud for some reason. Either way, it's not the end of the world. All right, so we just follow these tracks here and we'll get us a chicken. Hopefully we'll be fast enough. Uh, oh, I should have sorted my items. Not anywhere near fast enough. Just gonna speed through this. If I fail this too many times, we'll just go back to wait. It's long enough to catch this freaking chocobo. While I'm thinking about it. Oh, no, not not that. See, that was that was that menu glitch again. Um arrange. Customize. There we go. So I can put it in the very top. Still might be not be enough time. Jeez. Just for the sake of not having to do this a hundred thousand times, let's go ahead and put it on wait, and then we'll change it back once we get the, the chicken. There we go. Yeah, this will be good. All right, we should be good there. how much damage they can take. Glad I bought a few. This might take longer than expected. He's still just snacking away. There we go. We did it. All right. Um, all right, so where is he? I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. I don't know if you can still run into them or not when you're on the chocobo. I ain't gonna find out. Really wish I didn't have that sadness debuff. 
think that reduces damage taken, but also reduces the limit break. Look at that. Now you want to talk about a, a bad butt. I mean, look at that. Like, if you doubted Sephiroth's strength before this, the even Barrett's at a loss for words. Alright, so we see that, and now we are in the Mithril Mines. You know, now that I think about it, I'm not even sure what they said, where we're supposed to be going, which obviously, since I've played the game before, I know that we're going to Junon. I'm not, I can't remember why. Let's go ahead and use some of our magic. Might as well. We still have Cloud as the healer, of course. And Barret as the tank. Can use Quake, which freaking did big damage. Oh, I need to change it back to active mode, also. Which I will do momentarily. Go. Let's see what this is first. Long range. Don't think we can use that. Long range attack? Nope. And reason being is, I mean, I could just put it on Cloud, put him in the back, and then... But that would really make basically any character viable as a tank. So maybe it would have been a good idea, but for the sake of this challenge, we're not gonna do it. Change it back to active. Of course, I can't use any of these items, but I'll get them to... Ugh. I think you can steal... I'm pretty sure you can steal, um... A glove for Tifa from these guys. Grand glove, I think. It's funny how you remember stuff like that. Like, a lot of times I can't remember where I put my phone during the day, but I can remember some random stolen item from a game from 20 years ago. Go figure. Let's see what's up here. Oh, yes we can. Oh yeah, we can. I think there's anything up there. Oh, look who it is. Just a second. I hoped I'd never see you again. You know who I am? We ain't interested. From the Turks, and don't you forget it. Difficult to explain what the Turks do. Kidnapping, right? Put it negatively, you could say that. But that's not all there is to it anymore. Great speech. It's alright, Rude. I know you don't like speeches, so don't force it. And explain, Elena. 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 The newest member of the Turks, Elena. Thanks to what you did to Re Reno, we're shorthanded. But because of that, I got promoted to the Turks. Anyhow, our job is to find out where Sephiroth is headed. To try and stop you every step of the way. Wait a minute, it's the other way around. You're the ones that are getting in our way. Lena, you talk too much. Mr. Sing, Sing, Chung, I don't 
I know there's a proper way to say it. I don't know what it is, so we're saying sing. Or I may just not say his name. Don't need to tell them about our orders. Sorry, person. Thought I gave you your orders. Now go. Don't forget to file your report. Oh, right. Very well. Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who's heading for June on Harbor. Thanks for the tip. Elena, you don't seem to understand. Oh. Sorry. Go. Don't let Sephiroth get away. Yes, sir. Reno said that he wanted to see you after the injuries you gave him healed. He wants to show his affection for you all with a new weapon. Looking forward to it. Well then. Where's Eris? Isn't she with you? Eris isn't with us. She's with the others. Oh, then give her my regards. Hey, you just, you just go on, buddy. So there are rumblings that there's going to be another Nintendo Direct soon. And with Animal Crossing coming out on the 9th, or in 9 days, as of this recording, which is March 11th, you have to wonder, well first, I kind of wonder, you know, all this whole slew of retro... Final Fantasy games came out well, last year? Yeah, last year. And you've got to wonder... I mean, obviously there's so many more that they can bring to the Switch, and they'd be... I mean, it would literally print money. Especially if they brought, you know, six or... You know, stuff like that. I mean, I personally would love to have four on here. Of course, it's my favorite. But you've got to you've got to think that if all of these ones that they released last year did as good as expected, that they got to have plans to bring to bring more of them. I wonder if that's going to be you know this upcoming year. Or this year, rather. I would freaking love that. Because, you know, we got a bunch of big releases to look forward to. Of course, Xen Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. You know, there's, there's other ones, too. But, um... I really like having these smaller ones. These retro ones that you can go back to. And especially... I mean, the quality of life deal is also good. I mean, the speed up feature here is great. Um, I don't really care for like the boost, but they're there if for people that don't care for a challenge or anything, which is totally fine. Uh, just as a quick sidebar, we're not going to do Fort Condor because I could give two craps about it. So there you go. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the boosts are there for people that want them, which I have no problem with. But, uh, you know, and worst case, you don't have to use any of it, and the game's on a modern console, so it's kind of hard to beat. But I just, I know for a fact, they've got to be bringing the rest of them. Considering a lot of this stuff, like, especially Final Fantasy 1 and 2, are on everything. Like, they've literally been ported everywhere, so... I just think it's only a matter of time. Before they actually do it. Now... I may stick in these woods for just a second. This is actually one of my favorite grinding spots. These guys right here, which they pack a hell of a punch. You gotta be super careful because they can they can end you pretty quick. 
with those grand sparks. But they always come in groups of, I think, three to six. So they're good for, they're good for, you know, uh, limit break farming. And also just uh, for experience and stuff. Which again, I'm not going to go super crazy on... Um, not going to go super crazy on... Why can't I talk? Ooh, all level up. That's nice. Not going to go crazy on grinding, is what I'm trying to say for five hours. Because I do kind of want to see how far I can go without, uh, without doing much. But I may stick here for just a minute. Just to see what I can do. I'm going to go ahead and heal. These guys can hurt too. Now what I'm not entirely sure about, I don't know if I can actually use a... I don't know if I can use an in before I fight this next boss fight, so maybe I need to hold off on this until I see exactly what's going to happen. I forgot about that. Just getting absolutely shredded. Alright, we'll hold off for now. Hopefully I can use an end. We'll make our way here. Play with Mr. Dolphin. Go, oh, quick work. Red 13 got his second limit. Go. Go ahead. I hate when I do that. Go ahead and save. Alright. What happened to this town? It's so run down. Wow, now this is rare. We almost never have anyone other than the Shinra people visit this town. Hopefully we can use the bed, and it looks like we can't. So I should have thought about that, which I think if we go to Fort Condor, you can use the, you can use an inn there. But wow, look at that, look at that sales pitch. If you see a weapon you want, you better buy it. Wow. Um, alright, let's go ahead and sell... Alright, nobody's gonna use four slots. Um, I'm still not sure if these weapons are better than what they have, so let's just sell... All of that. I think guard stick is the first weapon. Go ahead and sell these potions. There we go. Now, hang on a second. That dude said... No. Oh. If you see a weapon, and he doesn't even sell weapons. What is that crap? It even says weapon shop. I've never noticed that before. All right, Let's see what's up here. Look at that, look at that blazing fire. Anything up here? Nope. 
What do you got to say, sir? What kind of place is this? Who are you people? Where'd you come from? You see a man with a black cape? Hmm. Never seen that feller before. Fair enough. Ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war, there's been no fish in the water. It got so polluted. Phew. You gonna move out of the way? Guess not. And so Shinra has a history of just building stuff on top of things and killing everything above it which is unfortunate and this looks totally look at that lightning bolt right there this looks totally safe for children and dolphins alike my name is priscilla priscilla now you say it who are you guys are you members of shinra inc no you got it all wrong we're fighting against the shinra why are you telling this kid this? I mean, this looks really, looks really bad. That's how it is. Don't believe you. Get out of here. Right. Oh, here we go. Watch out, Mr. Dolphin. Be careful, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, why, why did she run? Kids are so stupid sometimes. Like, oh, there's this gigantic le leviathan monster. I'm gonna run towards it. So stupid. So Cloud is dead in the water, which I probably, had I thought about this before, I probably would have set it up would have made would have made Barrett the healer because he can still attack with his weapon from long range and I just used Quake I don't know why I did that but he can still attack with his ranged weapon and that way uh, Cloud would be able to use something But shouldn't be that big of a deal. He's getting a little bit low. Oh, he's he's getting pissed off. Look at him. Rashing away. I think I gotta use magic on it. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is not good. Hurry, 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 hurry. And it's gone. Good. Wow, that was, um... Ooh, this isn't good. Not, and I just used Quake again. Didn't mean to do it. Just go ahead and heal everybody. Please do not attack Cloud. He does. We may have to do this one over. Oh god. Right. Well. Let's see how long we can last. But this is not looking good. At least they're all in good health right now. Oh, shoot. Yep, this is, um, this is not good. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh.
All right, so if I gotta do this again, I obviously gotta be way more careful. Please don't do your bubble thing again. Ah, shoot. Of course, it happens to the person that... right after I choose an attack. It's not good. This is... this is probably gonna wipe them out right here. That crap's brutal. What if this heals? I don't think it does. I think it just does haste. Yep. Oh god. Yep. We're done for, people. Well, our first our first wipe. But, the good thing is, we can swap around, we can swap around our, uh, our rolls, and this way I will get Cloud into, I'll be able to do some stuff with Cloud. Actually, no I won't. Because the only the only magic he can use is let's see, the only magic he can use is quake, and that's not going to do anything to this guy. Yep. Oh, you know what? Healers can use lightning. Forgot about that. Yeah, because that the whole fantasy behind that is um it's like a like a holy like a holy spell. Dang it. Okay, all right, we're going to we're going to speed through this real quick. All right, we got it this time. But I do have to be the on active mode with that bubble that's freaking that's freaking brutal i always i gotta keep one person available at all times or i'm gonna have problems so that said i can take lightning I don't know which one will do better damage. Do fire. I wonder if he can be poisoned. So I could use poison. Let me try that. So we can take Chocobo Lure off. Man, I wish I would have thought about that before. I read my own uh, challenge rules. All right. We got lightning. I'm just making sure, yes, the healer can use that. So now we should be golden. As long as it don't run out of... Oh, that's another thing. I don't want to run out of... Uh, I don't want to run out of MP. I wonder if I could go to Fort Condor... You know what? We're gonna try that real quick. Because if I can run, if I can go to Fort Condor and use their facilities. Run, 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 run. Then I can. Because I don't know how much I want to spam, you know, offensive magic. Uh, where's Juno and blah blah blah. 
I wonder if I say we'll help still still run away from it because again I don't want to have anything to do with this Let's see if we can use those beds Ooh, they may have uh, they may have some weapons here too that we can oh gotta help them first that's okay Please let us use the bed. Nope. Dang it. All right. Well, we're in a we're in a conundrum here, people. This um, the plot has thickened in regards to this beast that we need to slay. Guess we're just gonna have to do the best we can. Now I wonder, another thing I can do. Oh, hang on, oh. Another thing I can do is put everybody in the back row. Since they're not going to be attacking with their weapons. Let's do that. That'll provide an additional layer of defense, and I'll save this time. Ready to go. Alright, let's try this again. Man, I can't believe I died. But that's, that's the thing, because with weight mode, I think that that bubble tick, that, uh, you know, the bubble thing, um... It doesn't do damage, like if, if you're paused in a menu. Alright, let's do this. Got a new plan. I don't think he'll be doing... I don't think he'll be doing the bubble thing immediately. Let's try bio and see... alone is going to help quite a bit. Alright. Bill attack. Should have held somebody back. Didn't. Alright, we're going to hold Red 13 back. gonna do it. Should be good. Go ahead and heal. Save Red 13 again. Big wave probably ain't gonna do much of anything. I really ought to be attacking with Red 13 because he does way more damage. Okay, what do we got? Uh -oh. oh my gosh! That's why can't I why can't I target him? Oh, he's dead. Well that went a lot better than before. See, all we had to do is adjust our strategy. This is bad. You don't think she's dead, do you? Priscilla! 
Nope, she's not breathing. Okay, help her. Young man, do CPR. Out the mouth? Come on, Cloud. But she's just a girl. Cloud, don't make it weird, dude. You just gotta save save this kid's life. Alright, yeah. We know how to do CPR. You learn it in school. This is another reason the speed up function is very useful. Which I'm not sure I don't I can't remember if you're only supposed to go like where the blue is. You're supposed to go all the way. I always went all the way up. Here we go. He just picks him up, picks her up like a piece of paper. No problem. All right. So I think that's going to do it for episode 11. Sorry it took a little, it's a little bit lengthier than normal, but uh, we had to get through that boss fight. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, and I will be back with episode 12 very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.